Endi ba ye kene muno. Asim kanko e chupalu. Ya zelo. Asim mundu miri ndu azu. Miri atana maso awono. Asim wa adra ni mbona mmane. Ke dra yi mmane uliya. Dra yi mmane afo. Dra yi mmane ampo. Ise. 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 Um, aye juba pi osigo su ni yabifa jima kia webe na uruchi. Mketa. Na Eastern News 24. Po basta maka ye asa yusufu. Ni lwa kupo. Basta maka e eh, biafra e eh, ngoro wendi bona azo and pito obi bo de former presidential as in presidential candidate of labor party o li foku ni ruwa kuko draw my attention nsi nsi kam tielu ni abi fe me ko bi fai obi fai ko nuno na nkwa na gine o tedu update daily update bo stomach yene me no bodo on bo stomach ngoro wendi bona azo so de ki ye ge abi fi ge si aya nke drop all i feature no din chege Wastamaki yenda nini asa yusufuku ni ba opo. Alright, over to you. Hello everyone. It seems as if eh, if they don't blame Ibu or blame Peter or be in this country, never nothing ever gets eh, gets well for them or they don't feel good. They need to always have something that they can blame either the Ibo people, they can blame Peter or B and blah 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 blah. Nigerians say they are uh, doing protests. And from the little I have seen, no, I've not seen much. I've seen little because I've really not been online in the last few uh, 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 weeks. Oh, that I've, been, I've not really been feeling fine. I've, I've really not been on online. I've, I'm sure in the last like 15 days, I was completely, uh, for like, is it 15 or 12 days, I was completely offline. Didn't know what was happening. But the little I have seen, I've seen the protests that have been going on. People who have said they want to protest is mainly coming from the northern part of the country. Uh, a lot of uh, people from the northern, uh, fellow citizens from the northern part of the country, I say they want to protest because of the things that are happening in Nigeria, the hardship, the whatever. Me and dear just generally look at like, eh, eh, the protests that they insulted me for, they say protest was haram, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a good Muslim, I should do this, I should remove my hijab, I should leave Islam, blah, 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 because I was saying that people should stand up for their rights and protest. So now I'm seeing that they are saying, hey, be like I say protest is no longer haram, so I'm like, hey, I'm just watching. Then so, but the main thing, and, and there have been a different cause, how all of a sudden, how all of a sudden, they are not saying that, oh, it's Peter B that is planning protests, it's, it's Igbo people that are planning protests, it's IPOP that are planning protests. I'm like, how? Because everything in Nigeria is that whatever it is that is going wrong, the easiest thing to do is always to blame the Igbo people. I mean, Igbo people are sort of like, uh, what's that? It's, like, it's an English word or they have for something like that. I can't remember what the word is right now that everybody, so you want to look, look for something that you will blame. Ah, it's Igbo people, it's Igbo people. I don't even understand the craziness and the nonsense that goes on. But anyway, before I go on too, too much, let me look for someone who causes. I don't even know what job does that buy on Anuga. I know he has one appointment uh, with Tinibu's illegitimate uh, government. But whatever it is directly, <laughs> I can't even... Let me see. Did he even write it on his bio? Uh, what is this? Okay, Special Advisor Information and Strategy... Uh, to Tinubu. Oh, Fafa Kuve. Hey, okay, now you are going to be. Hey, when I see people selling their souls for things like a special advisor to PA to a um, senior special advisor. Okay, he's, in some cases, it's not even senior special advisor. Let me go and check. It's just special advisor because there is also senior special advisor and all of that. People just debasing themselves, selling themselves, you know, turning themselves to all sorts of all manner of things because... But anyway, this is what he had to say. It's a long read, so I'm going to try and go through it and read it. So he said, revealed. Peter Obi's supporters are the people planning mayhem in Nigeria. Obi should be held responsible for anarchy. So all of, so he has he has already concluded that there's there's going to be mayhem, right? So he knows something that I'm sure these people who are planning the protests do not do not know know ab about. So they he, and it's already asking that you know Peter Obi should be held responsible. You hear that dog bark? Anytime I'm doing video, that dog is always barking. That dog, that dog, that dog. 
Anyway, back to my video. <laughs> ah, even people don't suffer for Niger. They say they wanted to go. They will say what? They say they wanted to go. You people say no, you don't want them to. You ended up killing their people. You ended up doing all sorts of things. For me, it, that uh, hunger, that using food to starve people is the most heinous thing anyone can do. And you came back. You took away, literally took away everything. Gave them, is it 20 pounds or whatever per family or whatever. They grew. Half a, half a century, they took it. They grew, they bounced back. They didn't complain. They continued. Yet, you don't want to let them be. If you don't want something, let them go now. We shall be saying any small thing, any small thing. Anyway, shall let me come back. He said, don't be fooled. The malcontents planning to state nationwide process are supporters of Peter Obi, the failed presidential candidate of the Labour Party, according to him. And he should be held responsible for whatever crisis emanates from the action. The protest planners are also the same people who were instigated by Apple leader Namdi Kandu to launch the destructive ENSAS protest in Nigeria in October 2020. And what is very ironic about this whole thing was that in October, in that same October 2020, this same Onanuga uh, had done a tweet where he was saying, you know, he was talking about the fact that the Nigerian government was you know trying to work with the answer but they also remember that police brutality uh police uh extra ju judiciary killings was what led to boko haram the killing of the leader of boko haram that we are still suffering from so all of a sudden now it's nam the kano nam the kano that instigated the answers protest <laughs> you see how they change history to suit them what he said in October 2020 was different. What he's saying in, uh, in July 2024, totally different. Just to just because to be able to get those messy special assistant job. Special assistant job, not job. Lord have mercy. The protesters are uh, planners are also the same people who were instigated by Apple leader Namdi Kanu to launch the destructive ENSAS protest in Nigeria in October 2020. Ensas began as a genuine protest uh, by youth against the police special anti robbery squad notorious for its high handedness. IPOP members planning to extricate the southeast region from the Nigeria infiltrated the protest and hijacked it for their own agenda. Lagos still bears the scars of the malicious destruction by IPOP elements up to date. This is what they're saying. How did uh, IPOP? Enter Ensas. Ensas was Nigerian. You tired of Nigerian killing? Happened across the country, the country before they started using this thing to divide and started telling the, the northern you that oh they shouldn't be part of it and and all of that. So how in whatever name is Ensas now being made to look like an IPOP team, an Igbo team, or whatever thing that it is that these people? It's just all sorts of craziness. Anyway. Uh, two years after answers, the IPOB and the Gullible Innocents joined the Labour Party in 2022 to support Peter be a sympathizer of their cause. The same IPOB people that, that don't do election, that ask people to stay out. They are the people spreading the hashtag End Bad Governance, Tinibu Must Go, and Revolution 2024. They are not Democrats, but anarchists. They are attempting to call out our people via propaganda because their Messiah Peter will be failed to win the presidency of the 2023 election. So I want to ask, is it also this their Messiah Peter will be that has led to uh, Tinibu being such such a failure that, that even to find the word that qualifies a failure, it's, it's almost like impossible because calling him a failure is actually insult to failure. Someone who has failed so woefully, someone who has been abysmal in his performance, someone who hasn't done anything, someone who has thrown the country into chaos, someone that has thrown the country into anarchy that is currently, if they are already anarchy in Nigeria, Abuja literally terrorists are entering and abducting people within the city of Abuja where the illegitimate uh, president, the former governor of uh, Lagos State, resides. And yet, Onanuga is focused on another person who he said didn't win the election. If somebody didn't win the election, he's not that important. Why the heck are you then focused on him? Why? <laughs> 
they would, uh, he said, uh, as bad losers, they don't have the patience to wait for another election in 2027. They would rather destabilize Nigeria by staging a civilian coup against Bola Metinibu. That was happening when uh, uh, Tinibu was driving in Lagos. Was that also Peter B that said it? Hunger, hunger, they did, they, they talk to people. Peter B doesn't even need to talk to anybody. It's hunger that is talking to people. If they understand the meaning of their hashtag, they will realize they are clearer clothes for treason. Wanting to end an elected government is high treason. Wanting revolution is a call for coup d'etat, which is also high treason. Yes, even Tinibu entered through coup d'etat, a civilian coup d'etat, rigging election is also coup d'etat. And if citizens are tired of government, citizens are the government. Citizens are the ones with the power. They have a right to say, no, we don't want you and we want you to leave. And that is a right that they do have. He said, I've been on the trail of one of the protest planners who is, a, who is nameless but claims to have an internet radio station, PTM 100.8 at Abuja. The anonymous person joined X in August 2022 and has 520 followers today, among who are F.S. Yusuf, another rabid OB supporter, and Professor Pat Tommy, a Labour Party chief, and a guy on X who goes by pseudonym Peter Obi's first son. <laughs> PTN's profile image has someone holding the inscription certificate forger, not my president, with a photo of Peter B as an insert. Only OB supporters will be talking about certificate forgery long after the Supreme Court dismisses the allegation. So why are you paying? Why are you not focused on governance? I thought you said election is over. Why are you people not giving people good governance, accountability, and transparency? Why are you focused on Peter B? Why are you focused uh, on Igbo people? Why don't you do your thing? You understand? Uh, are we saying that Igbo people don't have a right to contest? They don't have a right to have someone who is competent, who has character capacity being supported by all Nigerians winning the election, even though he was rigged out. He, he went the legal way. He went his own way. You think if Peter Obi really wanted a protest to be done, he would have called for it immediately after you know, the rigging that happened. But he said no. He went, you know, he went through the, 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 the law and, and then you're here just crying and just ah, in short there. They say okay. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot. In short, there's a lot. Yeah, reading it is just even a, a a waste of time. You just have fail when failure, don't know what to do. They blame they blame people. That's that's what they are just doing. And by a kenepwe no mono a dikunu sibe ne so ikona ni ya ne meni la eastern is twenty four. Uh, I see one at Chico Cabia Mayana Runchan in an off no four, and the Kunis were in a Sura and Nira. And you could see the Una Nugunu Kayabi face where Bata Wakuno, Una Nugunu and I work for Nira. A cave you would equal Bastamaka, Yabi and Dani Nugasi, Nine, one night with Pugasi, a Bastamaka open grazing beer. Um, Kabaroke drop all your own comment on the comment section below. Thank you. And also stay tuned at Eastern News 24. Kemesia no mundem.